name's Terry Bright, and I'm a commercial maintenance technician. And what that means is I'm working in a lot of the trades. Um, working in electrical trade, HVAC, which is heat and vent and air conditioning, plumbing, uh, carpentry, and um, just basically anything that you know goes on inside of a commercial building that needs to be fixed, repaired, preventative maintenance on it. Um, I'm getting my hands on that. I got into the field through a friend. Uh, I was doing electrical work at the time, and they came to me with the job proposal. And you know, it was a, it was a tough decision, but it's one that I'm glad I made right now, because nine years ago I said, well, you know, I'm already in electrical trade. You know, uh, you know, why would I want to go into this trade? And then when I sat down and talked to some people who were in the trade, you know, um, basically what 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 um, made me take the job was I would become more well-rounded in all the trades. There's a lot of certificates that you can take when you're in this field, and the more that you have, the better off you'll be. Um, I had to take a I had to take a certification for a appliance repair. I had to take a certification when I became a manager. Um, you know that that helps you uh, with dealing with residents. Um, you know, just just the everyday, you know, uh, conversations and how to carry yourself in front of them. I also had to take one for heat and vent and air conditioning, to um, so that I would legally be able to handle refrigerant. So there's all different kinds of certifications. Um, there's all different kinds of stuff that you can get that's going to make you a better maintenance tech. Well, the thing with maintenance is, yeah, you never know what's going to happen during the day. And since you're getting your hands on everything, pretty much, you know, you're doing something different. Uh, you, you could be doing plumbing. You could be doing electric. But I would say plumbing is probably the number one thing that takes up most of the day. Well, one, you have to be willing to learn um, new stuff uh, constantly. Uh, you're constantly going to be... Um, asked to do different things. So you need to stay sharp on a lot of different areas in the trades. Uh, also, you need to be, be willing to work hard, get your hands dirty. Um, and, you know, uh, if, if you have that hard working attitude and if you have that, you know, you have that will and that drive to, you know, keep yourself fresh because things change and you need to keep up with the Joneses, so to say, in this trade. If, if you're one of those kind of people, uh, it's be the feel for you. My advice to you is, I mean, if, if you're thinking of it, you're already on your way to making a good decision. Um, the next thing to do is to look into some kind of schooling or, you know, uh, try to find someone who's, who has years in the trade, sit down and pick their brain about it and see if it's something you really want to do. Um, you know, it can be very, very, very lucrative trade and very successful for you if you take the right steps and you put the work in. Thank you.